Hey guys, thanks for checking out the Mastering Cytology Skin and Subcutis highlight video where you can hopefully get a little bit more insight as to how the course hangs together and what kinds of really cool and practical things we talk about in the course. Almost look a little, almost spindly. They've got this like, or what I would call stellate, so almost like a star shape. So it's like, what are those? Well, the giveaway here is the granulation. You go, oh, it's a melanoma. But there are amelanotic melanomas where there are no granules. And then life gets really complicated and you have to take those off. First, anisocytosis, big nucleus, smaller nucleus, so anisocaryosis. This is an abnormal mitotic figure that kind of looks like a little face that's screaming. This, so it's kind of scary, but um, we've got prominent nucleoli. Uh, here's a trinucleosis. One thing right off the bat that you can notice is how different all of these cells look. And the reason they look so different is because we have different types of epithelial cells all over our body. Prostate is a type of epithelial cell. Um, liver is epithelial cells. Uh, you know, skin epithelial cells. And another thing that you might notice are these little ring around the rosies of cells in these circular structures. So this is an anal sac adenocarcinoma, and these cells have this neuroendocrine type appearance, it's not and then you can see these spindle guys all mixed up with these neutrophils, and there's a lot of them, and people might look at this and go, that has to be a sarcoma, there's so many spindle cells in there. If you see this inflammation all mixed up with these cells, you need to put the brakes on big time because as soon this as I hear it, this is a multinucleated giant cell. It's a macrophage that joined up with all its friends to try to fight something big off. So these used to be individual macrophages, now they're one big macrophage. So it's um, actually a nice little lesson in community. So get with your friends and you know fight together. <laughs> so this macrophage or this multinucleated giant cell can really trip people up when they see these and they go, oh my god, cancer, it's a huge multinucleated cell. Remember that multinucleated cell. So macrophagic inflammation and then these big pools of blue stuff that I pointed out that we're going to talk about again in just a second. But a couple other features that I want you to notice are these beautiful, love these things, orange crystals. And notice how refractile this is. When I focus in and out, it shines. So that's what refractile means. And then one characteristic thing about them is that they exhibit narrow based budding. So right here you can see a guy that's budding and his his bud bud here is um, very thin, almost like a thread. So what do you think this is? This cytolo mammary cytology is unreliable enough in determining whether a mammary tumor is benign or malignant that I will not even go there on cytology. I just won't. Even if I even if the cells look crazy scary I'm just, it, they could be benign and vice versa. You really need to. <laughs> um, but what do you think this material is inside of this macrophage? You know, say this, this dog was vaccinated a week ago and it came back in with a little mass between its shoulder blades or wherever. And, um, and you look and you see this, this lymphocytic inflammation and you think, well, all right, guys. So that was just a tiny fraction of the entire course, but I hope it gave you a little bit more insight as to what you're going to learn in the course and what kinds of really cool things we go over. So if you have any questions at all, please definitely email me. I am so excited that you're thinking about taking it. Um, but otherwise I hope to see you in class.